Hello everyone and welcome back to the next installment of our 10.1 Raid Guides, proudly presented by Kingston Fury. This is Crazy Puck for Method and today we'll show you how to defeat the Forgotten Experiments encounter in Mythic Aberus. For all of our Mythic videos, we'll assume you know the fight and its mechanics on heroic difficulty. As such, these videos will show you the Mythic mechanics and focus on the strategy to defeat the Mythic version of the encounter. If you need a refresher on any of the baseline heroic abilities, check out their heroic guide for the encounter on our channel. For the mythic version of this fight, there's no completely new mechanics, and really only three mechanical changes at all. However, the changes make the fight significantly more challenging, and this is definitely a bit of a step up from the first three fights. As for what changes, the rending charge debuff from phase 1 never expires on mythic. The Temporal Anomaly Orb in Phase 3 now also applies a debuff when you bounce it, causing you to take 100% increased damage from the orb for 20 seconds. Lastly, and definitely most impactfully, the next boss will spawn when the current one reaches 50% health instead of when the current one dies. This alone dramatically amps up the difficulty, and you'll spend a large portion of the encounter fighting against two bosses at once. We recommend the comp of 2 tanks, 4 healers, and 14 DPS for the fight. The order of the bosses is the same as in Heroic. You should hold your DPS cooldowns that are longer than a minute and not use them on pull. While fighting Neldris, you should put down 3 raid markers on the side of the room. When the rending charge goes out, the targets should run to these markers and everyone else should ensure they won't get hit by the charge. Since the bleeds don't expire on Mythic, you'll need to use various abilities to try to remove them or otherwise mitigate them. Things like Bop and the Dwarven Racial work, but by far the most powerful ability here is Evokers using Stasis with Cauterizing Flame. Each Evoker in your raid can completely remove one set of bleeds. We recommend removing the very first set of bleeds, and then removing any other sets as much as you can. You should expect to get 3 casts of Rending Charge in the fight and aim to skip the 4th. When Neldris reaches 50% health, Thadrian comes down. This will likely be around the 1 minute mark. As soon as your tanks get the 2 bosses stacked, pop Bloodlust and burn down Neldris as fast as possible. Your main priority is killing Neldris before that 4th charge. Once she dies, nuke Thadrian. With Lust and all cooldowns, you'll probably get Thadrian to 50% pretty quickly here as well, causing Ryothus to spawn. You'll also get your first unstable essence debuff. We recommend not dispelling the debuff until immediately after the first violent eruption cast from Thadrian. Then, have the person with the unstable essence run to a marker, dispel, and bring the bosses on top of the ad while you blow it up. After you kill the first ad, hold on to the new essence debuff for a while, and you'll get a second one in a bit too. When there's 8 seconds left on the timer until the first deep breath, Use a mass dispel to remove the debuffs, and then kill the new adds while you're dodging the breath. Make sure to drop the adds on the markers. As a note, the deep breath is always targeted at the third of the room with the largest group of players, so you should bait it away from wherever the adds are spawned. After the first breath, you'll get a violent eruption. Do not dispel the debuffs before this eruption. Having an ad or two alive during it is a great way to wipe. Use a healer cooldown or two to keep the raid stable through it. After the eruption ends, use another mass to spell and then blow up the adds again. At this point you should have Thadrian pretty low, so finish him off. You'll keep repeating this setup for the essences the rest of the fight. Use a mass to spell with about 8 seconds until the breath, bait away from the adds, and then nuke them. While dealing with all of that, as long as Arathus is up, you'll also have those temporal anomaly orbs to deal with. These need to constantly be knocked away. They do apply a damage taken debuff on Mythic, so the entire raid is going to have to help with these. You shouldn't really go above two stacks unless absolutely necessary. If you need to take a third stack, you will want to pop a personal cooldown so you don't die. A good tip here, during the deep breath, the orbs can't be absorbed by the boss, so you can use that time to help let your stacks fall off. Just Make sure when he lands, he doesn't instantly absorb an orb. Managing the combination of the orbs and the debuffs and the flow of getting your dispels properly, not having anyone die to different things, will take a while to learn. That's the primary difficulty of the fight. But once you get the flow down, you can actually limp through the end of this fight with half the raid dead. Just work on getting solid at managing the debuffs and the orbs, and the fight will fall over. 
If you enjoyed this guide, remember to like it and make sure you're subscribed to the channel to catch all of our previews, guides, kill videos, and more. A big thank you again to Kingston Fury for making guides like these possible. From everyone here at Method, have a great day, and we'll see you next time.